Now let us see a problem on biogas power plant. So here is the question. It is mentioned following observations were recorded from the biogas system. Number of cows, number of cows are given as 9. Number of cows are required to produce the dry matter also called as the cow dung because biogas plant will be operating on the cow dung slurry. So number of cows are given as 9. So I have written that in the form of data. The number of cows are 9. Next, dry matter consumed per cow per day is 2.2 kg. So the dry matter is given. It means per day one cow is producing a waste of 2.2 kg written as dry matter per day. Then the retention time, it means whatever the slurry we are feeding in the biogas plant, we have to keep it for retention time which is mentioned over here as 20 days so that over a period of 20 days fermentation takes place and biogas gets produced so the retention time is given next the retention temperature is given as 30 degrees celsius the temperature of fermentation so this is the temperature it means we don't have to supply any external heat next biogas yield is 0.22 meter cube per kg the meaning of this data is when we are supplying 1 kg of dry matter or cow dung, in place of that we are getting 0.22 meter cube of biogas. So that is the biogas yield. Then the burner efficiency is given as 85% which can be written as 0.85. Next methane proportion is 0.68. It means the biogas will contain some other gases as well. And but the major proportion is of methane which is 68% so that is 0 0.68 written as CH4 or methane proportion then the calorific value of methane is given as 28 megajoule per meter cube so that is the calorific value of methane it means 1 meter cube of methane will give us an energy of 28 megajoule or the heat of 28 megajoule it has to be converted into kilojoule so multiplying with 1000 or 10 raised to 3 it gets converted into kilojoule per meter cube next the density of the dry matter is given the density of the cow dung which is 50 kg per meter cube the density of the dry matter and the question is here we have to find determine the volume of the digester we have to find out how much is the volume and the power which is available from this biogas plant in terms of kilowatts. So these two are the questions which are written over here. Now how to start this problem? Since they have given the dry matter for per cow per day which is 2.2 kg, I will be multiplying it with the number of cows So to get, and I will be getting the total mass. So first the total mass of dry matter available per day is, it is the dry matter per day from one cow multiplied by the number of cows so 2.2 into 9 this gives me the answer is 19.8 kg per day it means every day we are getting 19.8 kg of cow dung from the cows which will be finally fed to the biogas plant now after getting the mass i will be calculating the volume of this fluid because ultimately this will be mixed with water so we have to find the volume of the fluid so density is mass upon volume volume becomes mass upon density i will be using this formula so the volume of fluid in the slurry is mass upon density of the dry matter mass i have calculated 19.8 divided by the density of dry matter given in the problem as 50 kg per meter cube on calculating this we get the volume of the fluid in the digester which is 0 0.396 meter cube per day next after getting vf simply multiply vf with the retention time because Vf is in terms of meter cube per day multiplied by the retention time is in the form of days. So days and days will get cancelled and we will get the volume of digester which will be in the form of meter cube. So that is the first answer. Next we have to find the power available. For that I will be finding the volume of biogas V suffix B. It is calculated as the biogas yield multiplied by total dry matter because what is the significance of the biogas yield? The unit is 
0.22 meter cube per kg it means 1 kg of dry matter is giving us 0.22 meter cube of biogas so i'll be multiplying with the total mass of dry matter so total mass is 19.8 i have written here it is kg per day dry matter is having a unit and biogas yield is meter cube per kg so kg kg will get cancelled out multiplying this i will be getting the answer of v suffix b the volume of biogas 3.96 meter cube per day now i'll be using the formula of power so this formula you will have to remember power available in order to get the power from the biogas plant that is the burner efficiency into calorific value into v suffix b into the methane proportion so burner efficiency 0.85 calorific value 28 10 raised to 3 kilojoule per kg v suffix b 3.96 meter cube per day ch4 ch4 proportion is the methane proportion 0.68 now the unit is we can i can show it over here kilojoule per meter cube is the unit of calorific value multiplied by v suffix b because burner efficiency and these proportion ch4 proportion they don't have a unit so to get the unit of power available i have to multiply cv with vb so cv is having a unit of kilojoule per meter cube and vb is meter cube per day so meter cube meter cube will get cancelled out what remains is kilojoule per day so that is the unit of power available from this biogas plant now to convert it into kilowatt since per day is given dividing the value of kilojoule by 24 will give me the answer in terms of per hour that is the energy available or power available kilojoule per hour then i have to convert it into second so in one hour there are 3600 second so again dividing this numerator by 3600 second so I will be getting the unit as kilojoule per second. On multiplying this, the answer is 0.74 kilojoule per second, which is nothing but, but kilowatts. So with that, the problem gets completed. At the end, if you will find my videos helpful, you all can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.